you feel from this experience that you owe anybody an apology? Do you see your own fault in any way? As far as standing there, I had every right to do so. I don't, I, my position is that I was not disrespectful to Mr. Phillips. I respect him. I'd like to talk to him. I mean, in hindsight, I wish we could have walked away and avoided the whole thing. But I can't say that I'm sorry for listening to him and standing there. This morning, 16-year-old Nick Sandman standing by his actions in this moment gone viral. The junior at Kentucky's Covington Catholic High School now the face of this Lincoln Memorial confrontation with Native American elder Nathan Phillips. And what's it been like to be at the center of the storm? Well, I've been, it's weird to see your face on television. I've been reading a lot. Uh, and, you know, I've also been getting a lot of messages from people, both support and a, a lot of hateful things. Sandman and dozens of his classmates had just finished attending an anti-abortion March for Life rally when they converged with five Hebrew Israelites, a radical movement that is growing more militant, according to the Southern Poverty Law Center. They started shouting a bunch of, you know, homophobic, racist, uh, derogatory comments at us. What kinds of things did you hear them say? I heard them call us incest kids, bigots, racists. Uh, they called us honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations. To use the silver brothers' teaching, intro, and necessity. Okay, and this is just gonna go into how you know prepare spiritually to be put in a negative limelight. And the video that went viral, you know, you see HOI House of Israel, you know, they was at a protest with some so-called you know white boys and things of that such, and you had so-called Native Americans over there as well. And HOI, you know, not being wise and anything that such. You know, they start calling them, you know, crackers and things that such devils is wanting attention, not doing it in a smart manner. You know, so that's just letting you know, it's just adding more, that's adding more fuel to the fire and how Esau is using it. And he's going to pretty much uh, get all the Hebrew Israelites and, you know, and put us in that negative line, like just because of incidents like that. Just things of what they doing, that's affecting us as well, you know. Yeah, if I can add, it only makes sense that, uh, you know, like them cats were planted there. And now if you can just receive it in the spirit, it makes sense that um it's a bog it makes sense why he's teaching that um Cornelius was an Edomite. Because regardless of what he says, if you teach Cornelius as an Edomite, then you give that one of opportunity of salvation to Esau. Mm -hmm. And then now it makes sense of, you know, like how he be saying, Well, it's the chip is not the chip. Right. But you know, so it to me, you know what I'm saying, that whole incident you know what I'm saying, was, um, they were planted there. Suspect. You know, it, it's all suspect. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it was a coincidence that these cats just so happened to be there and that they was preaching. I believe they got that call and basically went up there. You know what I'm saying? I can't prove it. I'm just, that's my assumption, you know? Everything becomes clear. You know, we get close to the end, everything becomes clear. Mm -hmm. I got a quick precept for you, bro. I got the heaven quick for you. This, uh, uh, this is for you, priest. This is St. Luke chapter 8, verse 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. That's what Yahshua was saying, the brother was saying, you know, through the Spirit of Yahweh, it makes sense. We have the light via the Holy Spirit. And so we can make those connections. We can spiritually connect the dots. You know what I'm saying? If you think, of, if you think about it it, it, it just don't make sense the way it went down. First and foremost, like the elder Kazak stated, y'all had no business being out there anyway. You know, it's just like those prophesying at St. Patrick's Day. Come. I mean, that's not wise, you know. And Come. what they do is Esau used it to persecute the Israelites. If you go into that term persecute, it goes back to the origin of pursuit. And how does Esau pursue you, first and foremost, through the media, painting you in that, neg that negative light? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the uh, other Kazan brought out in his video, like the doctrine they was bringing out in that, uh, video, that little short clip, they was telling the truth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it's just how Esau gonna paint it to the masses, man. Uh -huh. You know, to look at like so-called terrorists and things of that such. You spin the kids, you know, you calling them faggots out there, so on and so forth, man. So you get
anything he that should not be known and mm -hmm. come abroad. Right, right. And that's it only makes sense that Zabak is working with Esau. You know what I'm saying? So he although he doesn't have that what 501c3 charter, but your doctrine seems to be suspect. And it only makes sense you've been influenced by Esau. You know, after all of this bullshit that is so happy, y'all are at uh DC protesting. After the gun, yeah, after the gun, <coughs> you know, then you call yourselves the pull up boys, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, to me, through the spirit, this shit is a fucking setup, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, man, he's all looking for, yeah. they looking for uh, yeah. a great opportunity, man. Yeah, and they getting rid of a good reason, huh? It's all over the media, man. Washington Post, you see Fox News, you know, big mainstream channels that these zombies in America be watching. Hey, bro, to, uh, they was on, he was on the uh, Today Show today. Yeah. Today. A little, a little short video clip or something like that, look how major it turned out now, you know. And that's also, like you mentioned before class, that that's also trying to keep the people from like uh, just tuning in to about the government shutdown, trying to keep their eyes, you know, so people won't yeah, be worried. Yeah, another distraction. Yeah, you know, yeah. just like how they do in sports, you know, they had a yeah. bread of circus, you know, they, they use other type of tactics to uh, keep people's minds out of the important things that's going on. You know? mm -hmm. Cause right now, they, they got the, the, the damn call with the saint. Right, right, right. They, they, they make, they make a, a, a petition, petition, mm -hmm. try to get them to overrule what the, the rule will happen. So Sam can, can uh, go to the Super Bowl. Can go to the Super Bowl. You know, that's the, another disgrace. That's another disgrace. Yeah. Because yeah. if I, one more thing, if I can add, he saw a mastermind this whole thing. You mean to tell me that that's, that that video finally circulated of those um, uh, those Israelites? They've been had that footage. Yeah. With the, from from beginning, what it was, they painted those Edomites in a bad light. You know what I'm saying? Because at first, you know, to get everybody's attention. To make it feel sorry, to make them feel people feel sorry for you know so-called Native American man, and so soon as people start pouncing on those Edomites, what happened was this is what truly started. So now you got America feeling sorry for these motherfuckers, and now blaming everything on the Black Hebrew Israelites. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I mean, you swayed the, with your with your sorcery, such as the media, you swayed the the whole public perception of the Israelites. You know, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's a book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak mm -hmm. and not lie. Yeah, so that's going to the prophecies, you know, like the end times, things of that such. But more so, look at it right now. It's going to prophecies like this that it says that, you know, we're going to be deemed as, you know, uh, you know, be uh, deemed as bad guys, as terrorists, mm -hmm. you know, so as militants, things of that such. You know how I said? You know what he had to go through we're gonna go through it as well so that's part of the end times of it, you know also go ahead bro. Mm -hmm. it said though with terry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tear yeah so along with the prophecy which part of the prophecies are persecution is it will tear but wait for it it will surely come man and we know that we see it through the spirit that he saw about to get ready to come wrap down on us man because it's more and more uh Brothers putting out videos, putting out righteous vibration of Esau's downfall. So, as a balance, you know, about Sean Shayel's on the left hand side, Esau has to do his job and do his balance as well. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Yeah, come, come. I said, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yep, and it's going to so called uh, Caucasians today, the Edomites. Say so his soul is not, it's lifted up. It's not upright in him because everything he does is adverse to the scriptures, man. So we already know how he does his stuff with his media. It's one of his um, his tactics that he used for, you know, his demonic, you know, mm -hmm. um, reasons and things that such. He's gonna paint us in that negative light. Mm -hmm. So we gotta prepare spiritually. Just you know, be prepared for that. Uh -huh. You know, you gotta think about um, what if your job might see you out there, people you might know. You know, you gotta ask how about Shasha, bless with that nonchalant spirit that you don't care. Who see you out there on the highways and byways? Who see you out there amongst the brothers? Things of that such. Yeah. Uh, I get that word upright and uh, and folk just going to the point because they're like, you know, the priests are always saying Esau be slithering, man. He never does nothing, you know, straight up. You know, it's you always got to figure the shit out a week later, two weeks later. This is what they really meant, you know, just like that footed surf uh, uh, surfacing now. You know, Esau has an agenda behind it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. 
and that word upright goes to Yashar and says to be right, be straight, be level, be a right, be just, be lawful, be smooth, mm -hmm. to go straight, to be pleasing, be agreeable, be right, to be straightforward. That's the point, mm -hmm. to be straightforward. Uh, Esau never straightforward, man. Yeah. You know, you think it's a Republican and Democrat, you know, they don't exist. You think they arguing about the wall, 5.7 billion dollars about the wall, that ain't really the reason, you know? This nigga play all these mind games, he ain't straightforward with nothing, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? But through the spirit you have by Shima Al Shah, we understand yeah. that devil is like that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people gonna get caught in the tree bag, man. Sweet. You know? Cause a lot of Israelites you gonna find out have sold out and are agents, all right, for the so-called white man, for Esau, for the enemy, man. And they gonna lead a lot of you Israelites to the slaughter, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Check these niggas doctrine out, man. Yeah. The doctrine gonna tell you what it is, man. You know, but the, the leg gonna take heed, the rest gonna go to the slaughter, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. you, know, so, you know, that's uh, like the brother said, uh, that's your how about your shot on the uh, right hand side, he putting out those strongholds, man. Mm -hmm. Like, we can actually see what's actually going on, you know, man. Um, you know, you just back in the day, you would think just the president make all the decisions, now you see it's a hidden hand behind them, mm -hmm. you know. And just uh, go even further, it's a hidden hand behind those elites. And that's your how about Shah. He's pulling their strings, you know? Yeah. For sure. I'm saying, because they were telling us we can go up and be the president. Yeah. That man's yeah. sheep, man. Mm -hmm. they, they, and he don't make no decision. Yeah. He don't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? He just sit up there. Why he want us to be the president? Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? Right. And you find out that, you know what I'm saying? It's a bloodline thing. Like oh. all presidents are, are kin to each other. You, know you ain't even got you ain't even got no no chain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. and me ain't got nothing. Why they do it like this? Right. But you gonna you gonna pay for this? No, 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 no. Okay, you know. You seen that movie Rampage? Mm -hmm. Hey, watch the last Rampage. It's on Netflix. He said the same thing. They, you know, they teach you in school. You could be a pilot or uh -huh. anything you want to. But he says it's the ultimate setup because uh -huh. everything is controlled. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is. Cause you know, you think about the college, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, they pretty much teach you how to work for somebody. They don't teach you how to run a business and get it up started. You know, they teach you just continue to be a, a continue uh, slave in the system, man. To further feed the elites. Mm -hmm. I just made do. I just made do five and thirteen. That's all. That's all they there, which are persecuted and the. And the Righteous say, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Verse 11. Yes. Yeah. yeah, best of the English so are persecuted and righteous is Satan. And HOI, they probably think what they're doing is righteousness. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it wasn't wise what you was doing. You know, like, you know, I, I believe that as well, man. You was planted there. Because it's crazy how much of a coincidence you all over the media now all of a sudden. You know, a little small incident like that, now you worldwide. Everybody's talking about this situation. Yeah. I just did a video right before we came. I haven't published it yet, but hey, you're on Fox. And uh, part of that article, within the article, I'll bring it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, Fox targeted one West. You know what I'm saying? And they gave a count of how many Israelites is in, you know what I'm saying, in the United States since 2000 or around the time around 2000. They stated from 40 to 200, 40 to 500,000. They stated that, you know, although it's kind of hard to keep that number in check because you have so many sects that have so many, uh, you know, various beliefs, you know what I'm saying? But they had a count as far as 40 to 500,000. But they said that it's a lot of offshoots from one west. So they doing their research, man. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, them motherfuckers are coming, man. Yeah. I mean, you can feel it. You can feel it, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the economy is going down. All right, and then at the same time frame, you know, this thing not only is the, is the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Hashem has just went across the United States, but it's global now. Um, you know what I'm saying? So now you got camps in Peru, you got camps in um, um, yeah Germany, uh, London, so on and so forth. So of course he saw it's like, yo, we gotta make a move, yeah, man. Australia, Australia. And you know, on Washington Post it says this is an article, and the title says. Um, who are the black Israelites at the center of the viral standoff at the Lincoln Memorial, which is a negative identity they put on as black Israelites? Cause you can obviously see it's twelve tribes on the on that sign. And and, and and that's uh and that's why they say be racist. 
But they don't, they don't look at they don't look at the the um the Latin or uh, Native American. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On the confusion of the face. faces. They don't look at them. They just say black. Mm -hmm. Hell, we we ain't black. We all just shades of brown. There's many confusions of faces in you don't know GMS counts, mm -hmm. man. Right. Know? And it said, how did this relatively obscure group shoot into the national spotlight? They are members of the House of Israel, which draws from what scholars call Black Israelism, a complex American religious movement that can be dated to the 18th century at least. Beliefs vary widely, but groups are bound together by the central tenet that African Americans are literal descendants of the Israelites of the Bible and have been severed from their true heritage. And that's the same one I got from uh, I was posted on Fox. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It says a related belief holds that white people are Edomites. The genealogical descendants of Esau, the twin of Jacob. You know, they know they studying us, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I says uh, Esau his diligent search. You know, all right. Yeah, I got a quick one. This is uh, John fifteen and twenty. Remember the word that I said said unto you: the servant is not greater than his lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have killed my saying, they will keep yours also. Come on, right. Yeah, I mean, hey, you know, just letting you know that uh, we ambassadors, you know, which means followers of you, how we shy. So things that he went through, persecutions, you know, he got, you know, your own people came against him the worst, you know. So how much more of us as being followers of you, how we shy? We're going to go through the same paths, man. Um, you know, getting put to death. You know, we, uh, Lord willing, that's be us. You know, we stay strong, we die for the name of you, how about you, how we shy? You know. Hey, I got one more. Revelation 12 and 12. Jeremiah Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Oh, my bad. Hey, I'm going to get back on this. Jeremiah 28. I'm going to get back on this. Verse 8. I guess. Oh, there's some more? Too? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I did uh, Matthew 5 and 11. That's all ye, when men shall revive, reveal you, and persecute you, and say all manner of evil things, evil against you. Father, for my sake. Come, come. And that's what they're going to do to us. Mm -hmm. You know, they're they going to, they, they, like, like right now, they're saying black. They, they, yeah. They're not black. Mm -hmm. And they're not mentioning the Latinos, the American, all the free faces. They label us all as, as one group and black. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. negative anyway. That's right, negative anyway. That's whole word right there, you know what I'm saying? When you ain't talking about. This my pants black, or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talking about the color black, just saying. And if you talking about a person putting black on it, that's you making that person nigga, yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, all this, you know, you saw this conquering and dividing, man, because he, he see that uh, all the Israelite camps are coming to, uh, together now, the 12 tribes, and so he just trying to separate us, man. He just want to uh, let the other uh, Northern Kingdom. Um, uh, the other Northern Kingdom brothers know that it's just a black thing now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you see on the side, we have it on the side, man. It's showing you that so called Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They consist of the 12 tribes of Israel also. The confusion of faces? Yeah, the confusion of faces that scatter abroad. Man, that, that's like, what, what was the, the media at when Apostle Bar got brothers from various GMS camps and they was confusing the face and they did videos saying, I'm a Hebrew Israelite? What was the spotlight on them, man? Mm -hmm. You know? But Esau, he knows us, man. He he, he knows exactly what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He really want to get the GMS, man. Yeah. Because most of them other guys in his pocket, man. Yeah. Right. You know, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. only people that's not going to be deceived is the elect, man. Those 7,000 men that haven't bowed down to Baal, man. You know, uh, these guys, y'all going to fall to the slaughterhouse, man. You know, these niggas lead y'all to the father house, the slaughterhouse, and we know it's the Lord that's blinded the masses, mm -hmm. man, because it's so obvious, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we'd be amazed at how people can't see it. We, and we know people blinded, man. But we'd be like, damn, they still can't see you, man? Right. You know? These niggas always pop up on the scene, you know? When you at the gun range, you know? For what? You know? You know how Esau get out, man. You know his track record, man. You know, this nigga pull coups in whole other countries, man. He overthrow governments, man. Okay. You know, so what the hell are you, you gonna do, man? Exactly. You know, that's right, bro. Hey, um, you want the Jeremiah? Yeah, come. Jeremiah twenty-eight and eight. It said, "The prophet that have been before me and before thee, 
of old prophesied both against many countries. Yep. And against goes into being opposed to a contrary to. Oh. So we being opposed and contrary to the ways of America. Therefore, we become enemies of Rome. America is, you know, Rome all over again. Oh, no. So, you know what I'm saying? So we being enemies of Rome. Like you see, like Spartacus, you know, you mm -hmm. see how he came against the uh, Roman Empire during his time frame, and the Romans was on his ass. So how much more of us being on a spiritual level now that we bringing out Esau, who he is, to the Bible, and what's about to happen to him in the future? You know, they about to come with a great rap on us. Mm -hmm. And against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Yep. So every prophet in the scriptures, they always prophesied against that particular kingdom that they were in, man. You know, every time you have about shot, he destroys the kingdom. Before he does it, he sends signs in the, in the heavens. And he also sends his prophets out there on the streets, man, let the people know what's about to get occur. Um, so America, yeah, so America's not going to be any different, you know? Um, we just had that, that, that blood moon. Blood that's moon. right, man. Oh, that's, you know. Had that super blood wolf moon, man. So it, 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 it's shooting out a vibration. You know, it's coming out, out the moon. So it's a different vibration out here right now. And just think about that. It's just January. All these different events been happening just in one month alone, you know? So that's why Apostle uh, Tahar said he deemed this year as the year of corrupt, man. Things about to get really heated here. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. This is uh, Acts 18 and 1. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth, and found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, lately come from Italy, with his wife Priscilla, because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome. Okay. And it says a Jew that came from Italy. Uh, this might be off subject though, but what about Cornelius? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Italian band. Yeah, he came from the Italian band. So then you know that it was actually Jews in Italy. Mm -hmm. right. You gotta chill out now. The box said Cornelius was here, man. Yeah. Going to him. <laughs> Going to him. Going to him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. crazy. But it says, um, I guess Israel just scattered everywhere but Italy. Yeah, according to his doctrine. Yeah. Uh, Acts 18 and 2, and found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus lately from Italy, with his wife Priscilla, because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome and came unto them. And the point was that Claudius, that Caesar, you know, he, he uh, demanded all the Jews to depart from Rome, man. It wasn't just because Priscilla and Aquila was teaching I me, mean, uh, Aquila was teaching, you know. It, it was camps everywhere in Rome, man, you know. The same thing going on today, man. And them Caesars, they back today. See, if you see everything spiritually, it makes sense, man. But if you're a carnal, and, and 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 think on the low level, and you proud, you know you're not gonna get it, man. You gotta think spiritually, man. All right, Trump can fair well be Nero, man, or Claudius, man, one of them Caesars, man. And we back in our same lot doing the same thing, man. You know, the Apostle Paul was a pest, all right, uh, 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 to the Roman Empire, man. You know, he was always causing uproar, man. You know, because he was against all the paganism that was going on. All right, against that wickedness, that abominable way of living, man, that pleasure, uh, lustful way of living, man. Okay. You know, that's why he told the saints to mortify their members, man, the, the, the believers to mortify your members, man. What the Apostle Peter say, separate yourself from this untoward generation, man. You know, and we coming with the same message, man. Right. And we get and we, and we receiving that same hate, and that's really few to keep us going on the, on this path, man. Yeah. You know, stay stay locked in to the pop the, the, the doctrine of the apostles and elders, man. Yeah. You know, right. continue in that path, man. You know, because as we see, man, you got a nigga dancing. We in the clutch, man. Mm -hmm. Nigga having a dance challenge, man. To Ja Rule song. Yeah, man. nigga playing, man. You know? <laughs> we fuck dancing Ja Rule song. Man. Come on, man. Yeah, like the motherfuckers just came in. Yeah, clap back, clap man. Back, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Jay, Jay threw out of here, man. <laughs> You know, so at the end of the day, stick to the doctrine, man. Right. We we going through the same path, man. It's acts all over again, man. Acts mm -hmm. reloaded. Hey, um, like brother Ashar brought out Jeremiah twenty eight and eight, and we prophesy against both kingdoms, you know, things that such. All right, this is uh just a little quick thing from Wikipedia dot com or dot org. It says Project Megiddo. It says it was a report, research, and written by the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Under Director Lewis Free, 
Released on October the 20th, 1999, the report named Followers of White Supremacy, Christian Identity, the Militia Movement, Black Hebrew Israelites, and Apocalyptic Cults as potential terrorists who might become violent in reaction to the new millennium. So just letting you know that Esau deem us as enemies of Rome, man. But think about yeah. this, but you see how it links up. Now, a couple weeks ago, you had HOI where at a gun range. Mm -hmm. You had uh, ISP UK mm -hmm. at a gun range, like you said, when they was uh, on that show called right. Vice. So basically, he's telling them what to do to paint the narrative, man. Yeah. That's that's it. To link everybody yeah. up. Yeah. You know, this what how this this what that's how Esau do, man. He used the same formula, man. You know, mm -hmm. it's the same formula, man. Cause like even with those terrorist groups, you know, people don't the, the simple American they don't know the difference between Al Qaeda, ISIS, uh, Al Nasir, mm -hmm. all right, and Iran. All of them the same. All right, the wow. Ameri the United Emirates, wow. you know, Esau can easily say they terror, the mm -hmm. United Emirates. Yeah. The Americans not gonna know they all Muslim, they all look right, the same. Right, right, right. They yeah. don't they don't know. So mm -hmm. he doing the same thing, all right, uh uh uh, uh, uh with the ministry, man. Right. You know, and them niggas is 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 is, is really them niggas is betraying the nation, man. Yeah. You see, they look at us, y'all hate Israel. No, them niggas hate Israel, mm -hmm. man. Look wow. what these niggas linking y'all to, man. You know, they finna, they finna make y'all niggas take all this smoke, man. You know, just for you on the comment board saying, come, yeah, I knew them GMS niggas was wicked. You know, they come to your house too, man. When Esau rolled, he come to your house too, man. Mm -hmm. You know, as the end of the day, you better uh, get, a, get, get a hedge around you, man. That's right. And then Esau can't trust them anyway. Because nah. if you turn on your fucking nation, right, who right, am right, I? Right. right. They show you that on Carlito's mm -hmm. way. When mm -hmm. when Carlito was about to get on the train, I mean on the bus, and he had turned around and he had shot him, and his homeboy looked at him, and he was like, shit, I'm well, sorry, Carlito, but yeah. I gotta look out for me. Right, and he said, what we finna do? He, he told old boy, uh, what's the nigga? I forgot the nigga name. Mm -hmm. I know you Yeah, about somebody that. from the block. But yeah. shit, he shot him too. Benny, Benny, Benny Blanc. Benny Blanc, though. Yeah, 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 Benny yeah, yeah. laid that nigga out too, because you can't trust him. You turn on your main man. So if you turn on your nation, I mean, you cannot be trusted. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know? Get that second Maccabees, bro. Uh, second Maccabees? 15 and, and um, <clears throat> started at 20. Hey, this is second Maccabees, 15 and 20. And, and now, when as all look what should be the trial, and the enemies were already come near, and the army was set in array, and the beast conveniently, conveniently, conveniently placed, and the horsemen set in wings, Maccabees, Maccabees, seeing the coming of the multitude and the diverse preparations of armor, and the fierceness of the beast stretched out his hands toward heaven, and called upon the Lord that worked with wonders, knowing that victory coming not by arms, but even as it seemed good to him, he give it he give it to such as are worthy. Yep. Yeah, so this is a count that our forefathers might get ready to go head up with Nicanor. You know, he was like a main, I want to say like a captain or something like that, of the Greeks, you know? Therefore, in his prayer he said, After this manner, O Lord, thou didst send thy angel in the time of Ezekiel, king of Judah. Or Ezekiah's like Ezekiah's king of Judah, and didst slay in the host of Sinegrail, and a hundred fourscore and five thousand. Okay. Wherefore now also, O Lord of heaven, send a good angel before us for a fear and dread unto them. Yep, and let's see what happened to Nicanor. Go ahead, go ahead. And through the might of thine arm, let those be stricken with terror that come against the holy people to blaspheme, and he ended thus. And Nicanor, and, and they that were with him, came forward with trumpets and songs. But Judas and his company encountered the enemies with invocation and prayer. Mm -hmm. So they're fighting with their hands and praying unto the Most High with their hearts, they slew no less than 30 and 5,000 men. Yeah. For through the appearance of the Most High, they were greatly cheered. Kind of, just jump to 30, since you brought out that uh, how Esau would kill like uh, somebody who would trade their own countrymen. But let's see how Judas was in the spirit. And Judas, who was ever the chief defender of the citizens, both in body and mind, and who continued his love toward his countrymen all his life, yeah. commanded to strike off Nicanor's head. 
and his hand with his shoulder and bring them to Jerusalem. Yep, and it says that he continued his love to his countrymen all his life. So therefore, he's not going to be leading them off a street. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why we teach through the spirit of Yahweh Bashan Shai what the chip is. You know, so what the market of the beast is, the microchip. And if our people do take it, it's going to be a, uh, a recompense for that, man. But these other uh, camps, these uh, other Israelite camps, they'll let the people know, you know, it's just an embargo. It's not really something that's serious. All it's right. about preaching now that, that you can uh, take it or if you repent. You know, mm -hmm. you're going to receive a horrible death, man. You know, you're going to be tormented by it says by the uh, angel, by the Holy Lamb. Yeah. You know? And then if I can make another point, then he said that, you know, you can't think about the chip. It's going to be more so spiritual. But how can you get something spiritual from Esau when he's a carnal man? He's a carnal man, man. man. You're going to be a chip, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, them niggas, them niggas, them niggas suspect, man. Yeah, them yeah. niggas suspect, and then they linking you up to terrorists, man. When Esau, if Esau can get the green light, and get the public uh, 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 opinion, mm -hmm. you know, that you terrorist, man, you know how hard he gonna go, man, you know? See, we know the Lord gonna raise up a standard, man, that's and right. that's why we, 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 we build up the head spiritually, man, you know? But these guys teaching y'all to be corner, to go in the corner battle with Esau, man, it's a horrible decision as leaders, man. And you can't forget that nigga Sakara neither, man, with that black and screaming yeah. shit, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. Little t-shirts yeah. and shit, man. And y'all buying them shits, man. Mm -hmm. You know? You, you don't think Esau tracking all those addresses and making those orders? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, so that, that, and that, 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 that's crazy for them, man. Like, like you're saying, uh, they know they, they know what, 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 what's about to come down. Yeah. Now, people to, to, to the terror shit. They call themselves the Zillots. You know oh, what I'm saying? Man. So that's the yeah. spirit. You already know who they are. Yeah, everybody, <laughs> you know? everybody back. Yeah, right. that's the Kyra, the Zillots, yeah. the yeah. false prophets. Yeah. Yeah. Pharisees, you know, yeah, Pharisee, the wicked Pharisee. Yeah, no, right. You know, yeah, he set up forth what the apostles, man, last man. Right. You know, but like the brothers were saying, like Esau always paint that narrative. Y'all was gonna put you in a negative light, and these people gonna eat it up. Y'all remember that movie Soul, uh, Soul Plane? Yep. When that uh, era had the uh, oh, the head on. Yeah, yeah. everybody started panicking right. on the plane. Right. 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 Cause they look at him as the boogeyman. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So he's going to do the same thing to us. Yeah, yeah. But look at the double yeah. standard. But meanwhile, you got Bodegas all, yeah. all, all, right, right, right. all in New York and shit. <laughs> but, and then you got doctors of these motherfuckers. But you mean to tell me I got to watch them when they get on the plane? Right, right, right. They hear them all here. Because yeah. right. And they got them all in New York, though, Bodegas. And this shit just happened around the corner. In New, in New York. York. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But see, that's what it happens when... You, cause like, like you said, bro, what he's trying to do is... Uh, he's trying to take Ray Millsong off those streets. Because right. if you make us an enemy of the state, then through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem and that's the draw of the word. Right. So now Jay ain't gonna know what the fuck going on, man. They gonna have that bullshit out there. The, the fake doctrine. Yeah. The one if they yeah. do, if they do be somebody, that they gonna yeah. be set up and they gonna be all straight bullshit. Came out with, you know, I sent to you all. Uh, you know about the history of the old one world. Yeah. 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 And he was going into how the Rosicrucians kept coming to the old school. Like, uh, had blank checks and just telling them, uh, tell us y'all price, you know what I'm saying? So, how much more now, man? Because this word is spread way more yeah. further than back compared to the early 90s. I ain't gonna get you this is uh, St. John chapter 7, verse 7. The world cannot hate you, but me, you hate it because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. And that was your house shot speaking, man. So, your house shot is like, look, the world don't hate y'all, they hate me. Because all we do is lift the standard of the Bible, man. We right. preach the same doctrine that Yahweh Shai taught when he was upon earth, man. You know? And, and we, we get hated for it, man. You know, we get hated by our people. We get hated by these heathens and chiefly these so-called white people, man. The Esau, yeah. man. You know? They hate this word, man. Even these other camps, they hate this word because it's cutting them too, man. Because they all. You know? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is overwhelming this place. And it's gonna be a big kickback, man. But we prepared in the spirit, yeah. man. Uh -huh. You know, so the hell will I go out, man. We ain't trying to uh, wiggle away from the uh, 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 controversy, you know. But we to teach our people to be wise, man, uh -huh. not to be foolish, man. You know. I got a quick one. That's one for me. This is Second Ezra sixteen and six to eight. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is coming over you, and they shall take. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you with idol, 
for things offered unto idols. And we know it's coming, man. They great book to all right. Ultimately, it, it eats on these stormtroopers, man. Right, these bro. foreign troopers, man. You know, mm -hmm. when they start coming door to door, man, because they gonna feed you things to be an idol because this whole system is based on idol worship, man. Yeah. All right, and they want you to sell out to this system, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh yeah, bro. Hey, that was it. And then the point uh, too, I want to harp on is uh, candle. If you know anything about candle, it means to like ignite. Or to build. So look at what he's yeah. doing with the persecution, starting with the media. Man. He's building that controversy. Mm -hmm. You know, he getting these people familiar with the so-called Black Hebrew Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when he make that that certain move, he gonna make by being us terrorist things of that such. The people gonna automatically chew that up and eat it, man. And, and they gonna like, yeah, I know, yeah, I know they, yeah. I know they, I know they. Like is. we just saw them last week. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know? um, I got one. I think Revelation two and ten. For none of those things which thou should suffer. Behold, the devil should cast some of you to prison, that you may be tried, and you should have tribulation ten days. But thou be faithful to death, I will give you crown, I will give thee a crown of life. Yep, so this so-called white man, he's gonna put us in those FEMA camps, man. And it says be faithful until death, man. So where we had to go through, we just Lord willing, we pray through the spirit of Yahweh Shah, we are able to bear it. You know what I'm saying? If it is like a death, hey. We let, hey, that let us know that we be rise up with Yahweh Shai and our brothers that fell, you know, that's uh, actually in the spiritual realm. You know, we're going to meet them on the chariots, you know. So mm -hmm. that's a beautiful thing that we suffer in righteousness for. All right, um, what's another point I was going to make? You come back to me. All right, you go ahead and Revelation 12. It's Revelation 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knows that he have but a short time. Mm -hmm. and that's the point right there. Esau knows his time is limited now. So he has to put all his cards out the trip bag, you know, before the end of his rulership. So he's gonna come out with everything. This is last go round. Mm -hmm. So you can expect anything from this devil, you know? Yeah. All right. The word, the way his word mm -hmm. going out how yeah. power. Every day that Esau wait, he's getting exposed more and more, more and more. You know, so eventually he didn't have to say fuck and just no. and say go, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and at the end of the day, we know this coming, man. That's right. You know, but I say we have to prepare our people to be spiritual, man. You know, don't don't be, don't take a car, a, a carnal posture, all right, against this devil, man. Mm -hmm. All right, stay in the spirit, man. That standing gonna get lifted, you know, and we already got the victory, man. You know, so we ain't worried about what Esau going to do, man, but we are here, we are here to, to govern the elect, man, which is the sheep of the how about Shema You know, for those of our people who do want to uh, turn to this devil, it says in Isaiah 59, 19, he's going to come in at, as a flood, man. And it also said in Isaiah the 10th chapter, old Assyrian, the rod of my anger, he's going to sin against a hypocritical nation. That's you so-called mm. niggas, man, and you Latinos and Spicks as well. So y'all want to conform to that devil? Go ahead, man. Lord willing, we know we stay in the spirit of Yahweh Shah, we die for our integrity, you know? Y'all got anything? I got a quick one. All right, this song, 118.6, the most high is on my side. I will not fear what a man can do to me. You know? That's right, man. So none of these persecutions, you see Esau got these different horror movies, I mean, through the flesh, you know, you'd be kind of scared like, damn. You know what I'm saying? But Lord willing, Yahweh Shah, Shah, keep that spirit upon us, that, hey, we don't give in to this system, you know? That's how we just pray for this. Keep that Holy Spirit upon us. And where we have to go through, we, you know what I'm saying, we go through it, man. And we go through it as, you know, men of righteousness, you know. Just look at the accounts of old. Were any of them forsaken by calling upon your house by Shem Shah? No. So Lord willing, through this time frame, he's going to show many miracles. And Lord willing, we're going to be delivered out of all of them. Come on. You know. So with that, we hope y'all are edified. Like give all under glory again to Yahweh by Shem Shah, by Shem Shah. Double us again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere Akim. Shalom. Shalom.